Hello and welcome again to a new update for an unwound clockwork. Um, finally, it's the month of the puppet and the boss character is taking shape and we really like how he looks now. So first of all, all the 3D printed parts arrived. This includes all the 25 replacement mouthpieces, um, two heads and hair, as well as his head and the final set of hand molds, which still need to be molded. But um, yeah, it's really great to have all the parts ready now. Um, huge thanks to Thomas Meissner at this point, who did all the 3D printing, and it wouldn't have been possible to build this puppet without your help. So yeah, I won't forget this. Thank you so much. Um, well, all the parts were then um, shipped to Ulrich, who airbrushed them to be skin colored and also hand painted some of the little details. This includes the gold teeth he has on all the replacement pieces and a bit of dirt on his teeth and also a lot of sanding and filing to make the pieces perfectly fit into each other. Well, um, you might have recognized that all the replacement parts have a little hole above the lips and also there are two holes on the forehead of the main head and those are intended to hold the eyebrows and mustache in place because those will be separate pieces so the animator can move them independently. And yeah, I made some tiny metal connectors which go into those holes and hold a little aluminum wire which will be inside the mustache and the eyebrows. And Ulrich sculpted um, yeah, the eyebrows and mustache around this tiny armature, basically. Um, but we are not very happy with the first try here, because the sculpting material turned out to be rather brittle. So we will try again, but that's not too much work. And just judging from the looks of it, I think uh, this will work very well. With all the parts ready, Ulrich and I met up for the final assembly of the puppet. So we carefully took it apart again and cleaned all the insides and also I lubricated all the sliding surfaces of the briefing mechanism and then assembled it hopefully for a last time now. And then Ulrich added the foam padding around the belly and the arms and yeah, now this is the final shape of the character basically. On this occasion, I also took the opportunity to record some videos of the entire assembly process because at some point I want to make a proper making of video, especially for this character, because I think there are a lot of interesting details to talk about. Um, but yeah, this will be something to look forward to somewhere in the next month, then when there's also some final footage of the character in action. Um, for now, we did some simple test animations to see how the briefing movement looks now with the entire body and also for the mouth replacements to see how the mouth moves now with the finished 3D printed parts. Um, the latter one will be available on Patreon this month as the GIF animation reward. But at some point, of course, it will all be included in the making of video about this character. And right now the puppet is already at the costume tailor who is now giving him a whole new set of clothings to surround his yellow little belly. Well, that's something I'm really excited to see when it's finally done. So yeah, a whole lot of things to look forward to next month. Um, other than that, um, we also did a little more work on the set itself. As I said, it's basically finished, but yeah, there are all, always more details to add. So one of the things Maurice and I made is a little coffee machine-like thing. 
and also a tiny pepper mill. So yeah, Maurice insisted that he definitely needs a coffee machine. So yeah, here it is. And um, then I thought about the lighting of this scene because um, yeah, we have this uh, big chandeliers which produce a very warm yellow light, but I don't want the entire scene to be too cozy. There needs to be a bit of eerie, unpleasant feel in the set, I think. So uh, yeah, I bought some um, slightly tinted foils and played around with them in front of the lights to find um, to find a color tone which fits fits nicely. Um, and I'm still in the process of testing here, so no final images yet. I think I will decide this when the puppet is ready to be photographed in the set as well, because it's very important how the light looks on the faces, on the skill, skin color tones. Um, but yeah, that's something which is also in preparation. And um, yeah, there are some things which need to be prepared as well for the shoot, for example, the yeah, well, the, the main human puppet, um, he currently is undergoing a bit of surgery here. Um, you know, stop motion puppets wear out and yeah, this one had a broken hip, but he needs to walk again in the next scene. So yeah, right now he, he looks very, um, well, looks painful, <laughs> but that's something I'm currently working on as well. Um, okay, what else? Uh, yes, as mentioned in the last video, uh, one of the most important things this month was the recording of the video reference for the upcoming scene. So Mona the animator knows basically what's going on in the scene. Uh, it's just much easier to act it out than to try to draw and describe it. So that's also something Maurice and I did and yeah, it was kind of funny, kind of awkward, but uh, here we have some reference footage. One thing which is still missing here, of course, are some reference images in the actual set with the proper lighting and the characters themselves and everything, which is to define the camera angles and the framing for each of the shots. So that's really important as well, but uh, it has to wait for the completion of the characters, of course. But um, other than that, I think we're kind of ready to get started next month somewhere, um, because there's not too many things left, so um, fingers crossed we will have a first finished shot by the end of next month. We will see. Yeah, regarding other news from last month, um, you have probably already seen it. I made a little making of video for this paperclip miniature here, a little tribute to Microsoft's old Clippy office assistant. Uh, you probably remember the annoying little fella. Um, I found him to be rather funny as a kid and so here we are. Um, well, I made him a couple of months ago already as a reward for my patron supporters on the Helping Little Robot Claw tier. So um, yeah, that's always something which is going on in the background. I don't always find the time to make proper making of videos for each of the pieces. But yeah, if you like to receive uh, miniature surprises each month, then maybe check out that reward. It's something I really like to do each month. And right now I'm already working on the next miniature for this month, which is quite a complicated one this time. So yeah, um, as this is something which is usually going on in the background, I thought I'd just mention it for once. Um, and also um, I repaired an old printing machine, which was uh, quite an unusual thing, but a friend of mine here, um, he has a small printing shop and he has this beautiful old machine, so I thought you really would enjoy seeing them. And one of them had a broken cast iron piece, which was deemed to be unrepairable, and luckily I was able to actually repair it with some tiny frets and screws to clamp it all together again and I'm quite confident this will this will work again for quite a while so that was very satisfying and um, yeah at the moment I'm quite lucky to have two nice commissions going on so I'm really busy building things for now um, yeah I will show them probably next month when I have finished pieces to show but 
yeah, a lot of things going on in the background at the moment. Um, yeah, just so you have a feel for it as well. Um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, for next month. Um, yeah, fingers crossed we will have some finished footage by the end of next month. So yeah, I'm quite nervous as every time when we start shooting on a new set, but yeah, it will probably work somehow. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.